Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Wingo, one of the delinquent road hazards. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Wingo is a green and purple tuned 2004 Acura RSX, I'm gonna guess who was who is one of the delinquent road hazards that like to cause havoc along the roads and streets and was voiced by Adrian Okoa in the first introduced in the first film he along with Snotrod Boo DJ and Boost who I unfortunately have a broken version because I'm not gonna show it Owen. we're cruising along the interstate and caught up with Mac and decided to play tricks on play chickens with him by tossing him across the lane causing Lightning McQueen to fall out of his trailer right into the middle of incoming traffic. And during the epilogue of the film, they've sped along Route 66 and Sheriff had to chase him down and lock him up in the impound. And, and they were also sentenced to pave a road with Bessie even if it didn't need repaving. And in the in the video game, they they confronted lightning lightning to and by telling him that the road was closed to him, although lightning didn't get the concept, and so lightning decided to challenge them to a race. They they met Mackig again the second time, but this time to rob all of Lightning's gear from his trailer. And then Sheriff and Lightning had to chase them down in order to get his stuff back. And, and when they locked them up in the impound, they confessed that it wasn't their idea and told them that some race car are, who was green with a mustache had paid them off, which turns out to be Chick Hicks. And they were and they were even seen again in the Cars Tune episode Tokyo Mater when they were as usual oh drift speeding pat spreading through radiator springs and sheriff had to chase him down yet again. In Deputy Mater they sped through Radiator Springs yet again, and they were stopped. And they were stopped by Mater, who uh, who was being a deputy by telling them that they weren't following the rules nor the speed limit of the town. And so they so they offered to pitch in by cleaning up a mess. And although they didn't appear in cars. Two, they appeared as downloadable characters in the Cars 2 video game, and and also appeared in the Cars Fast as Lightning app. And they also appeared in another Cars 2 episode, Spinning. Spinning. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we got his smirking facial expression, his green paint job and his side view mirrors and his headlights and his grill and his purple interior and and on the left side we've got the the silver tuned rims and and the graffiti and the graffiti on his doors in with white letters and I'm gonna to have to say Japanese and 
And on the back side, we've got the exhaust pipes and the, the tail lights and the license plate saying Wingo, Spoilerville, and which he comes from, and his big green spoiler. And on the right side, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other tuners. We've got Kabuto. Chisaki. Stainer. And the other delinquent road hazards like Snot Rod and DJ. I really wish I could pull up Boost, but unfortunately I still have a broken one, so I'm not going to pull it up. So I'm hoping to get a replacement. So anyhow, what do you guys think? Which tuner is your favorite, and which delinquent road hazard member is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as leaving any suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And consider the support by checking out some of my other videos for public watch time for public watch hours. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!